Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Cook with Elle. On this video, as you can see, I'm going to show you a very delicious recipe of lamb stew. It's very easy to follow, it tastes so so yummy, so please don't forget to give it a like, comment, share with your friends and family, subscribe if you haven't. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for this delicious recipe, I've got one kilo of lamb. I've cleaned it already with lemon juice. I also have some chopped tin tomatoes. You can feel free to use fresh tomatoes if you like. I've got ginger, garlic, scotch bonnet. This is optional. If you're not a fan of spicy food, I wouldn't recommend you to use this. I've got some paprika powder, dry thyme and some salt. Also spring onions, red bell pepper, onion and this curry powder from Costa Spices who I like to say a big thank you for sponsoring today's video. This curry powder comes in 8 grams, 100 grams and 250 grams. I'll leave the details in the description box below and do watch until the end to find out more. So that is it for the ingredients. For more information please see the description box below. Measurements will follow up throughout this video so let's cook. I'm starting with prepping my vegetables so I'm chopping half of a medium onion, just a box standard size which is basic, two medium spring onions, one red bell pepper. For the two cloves of garlic I'm chopping them really small with the ginger a bit chunky because I love the crunchiness of it. And here you have it guys looking pretty right, now let's move on to the next step. So I've got the meat in the pot now, I haven't turned on the heat yet, I'm going to season it first with half a teaspoon of paprika powder, dry thyme and some salt. Do add the salt according to your taste. I'm also adding 2 tablespoons of Costac Spices curry powder, I've been using this for almost a year now guys and what I like about it, it has a really unique flavour, it's beautifully mild which allows you to control the heat unlike other curry powders that can be overwhelming. So this is perfect if you can't handle spicy spicy food. Next I'm adding a teaspoon of chopped garlic and a teaspoon of chopped ginger that mix everything well well together honey, let it all marinate well well. Once the seasoning has mixed well with the meat, turn on the heat on medium to high and keep stirring. Let me tell you this guys, this method is great when you don't have a lot of time to leave it to marinate for hours or overnight. It literally boosts that seasoning and marinates it quicker. I just love it. So we're going to keep stirring until it produces some broth and oil. This is what I am talking about guys. You see, I didn't add any water or any oil. So moving on, I'm going to keep stirring to avoid the meat from burning. Once the oil starts to show up more, fry the meat just a little bit then add 700 milliliters of water. Leave it to boil on medium to high heat for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes I'm adding the chopped onion, spring onion, bell pepper and about 100 grams of chopped in tomatoes then mix it well well together honey. I will now add about 600 milliliters of water. Okay, one thing I will say, when you see the broth has gone down but the meat is still not as soft as you like it, you can always add some more water to bring it back up until the meat is nice and soft and tender as you like it. Last but not least, I'm adding the scotch bunny. As you can see, I've got the lid on. I'm leaving this on medium to high heat for 35 minutes. Well, apart from lamb, you can make so many other dishes with this curry powder, such as porridge, chicken, seafood, soups, other meat stew, even jollof rice, and so, so many more, guys. Please do send me pictures of your creativity. I'd love to see what you've made with this. Et voila, the final result. Just look at it guys. I wish you can smell it through the screen. This smells so good and it tastes amazing. It goes well with so many sides such as boiled rice, fufu, plantain, oh wow. I love it with boiled plantain. I have a thing with stew and boiled plantain. I don't know what it is but I just think they're match made in heaven. I just really like it. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to see the description box below for more information. Don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends and family on social media. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll speak to you all on my next one. Bye bye. Thank you.